Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, class video number 29. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, and this is week five, click on the link below the video or go to our class website. Wow, you are not going to believe Flash Fill. This is an original invention by Microsoft, not in any other spreadsheet program. Just amazing. It can extract, combine, insert, reverse data, and it can do it to text, dates, numbers, and times. Let's look at a bunch of examples. Now, here's the deal you have names in a column. Maybe you want just the first or the last or just the initials, or you want to reverse first and last. You used to have to do this with formulas, but now we can do flash fill. Now, are you ready for this? All we have to do to get first name is type Mo, enter. Notice I've just given Flash Fill an example. I said take the first word before the space. And now when I type a G, instantly Flash Fill appears. When I hit enter, I have extracted just the first name. And it'll work on last name. I give it one example. Enter. I start to type the second example. Flash fill. I hit enter. Now think about how amazing this is. We used to have to do this with formulas, right? But now, instantly with one or two examples, we can use flash fill. Now, just as it says up here, flash fill does not recognize changes in the source data, but formulas do. So if it's a one time deal, flash fill is amazing. If you had a template and you're dumping names here all the time, then you'd want to switch over and use formulas. In our next video, we will see formulas for doing this. You can do initial. So I want M space D. So M. M for Mo, D for Dim, enter. And now when I type a G, well, wait a second. Look at that. It's not guessing right after one example. So now I'm going to type a space and a T. Be sure to delete that R. And now when I hit enter, I need a way to force flash fill. So I go up to data, and there's flash fill. Notice there's a keyboard, control E. You should get used to this keyboard because it's amazing. Control E. Just like that, I've extracted just the initials. Can I reverse it? Sure. Dim space mo. Enter. As soon as I type a T, boom, flash fill, I hit enter. Can I insert a character? Because I don't want just dim mo. I want a comma in between. You betcha. Dim comma space mo. Now when I hit enter and type a T instantly, I've reversed and inserted a comma. Can I change the case? You betcha. M O space dim. I've only added a capital to the beginning of each word. That's my example. I'm going to give flash fill when I hit enter and type a capital G instantly. Enter, I've flashed fill. In each one of these columns, I've given flash fill an example. Microsoft likes to call this program by example. You give Flash Fill an example, and it builds a custom program to do what you want. All right, let's look at a bunch more examples. Now, here we want to combine. Sometimes you get first and last, and you're like, I want it all in one cell. Mo dim enter as soon as I type a G. Flash fill. I've given it the example two cells to my left, a space, and one cell to my left, and it knows when I hit enter to flash fill. Now, sometimes you have to give it more than one example or be a little bit tricky. If I type Mo and all I want is first name, if I were to flash fill Control E here, well, it's not going to work. There's a blank row there, but we're going to be careful in how we do this. I type Mo and I simply highlight the whole column. Now I can control E and it works perfectly. Let's look at our next example. Sometimes you have to be careful and give it two examples. I want first name and last initial. So I'm going to type Mo and D. Enter. If I control E or give it a second example, it'll just skip over this one because there's an empty cell. But this is a case where we want to choose our two examples to give to flash fill. So I'm going to Mo D, enter, enter, enter. And now I'm just going to say, hey, Kelly, 
So what I've done here is I've given it two examples. If there's something in the two cells, take the full cell content plus the first character of one cell to my left. If there's nothing and something there, just take the something there. Control E, it flash fills. Absolutely beautiful. So you do have to be careful about what kind of examples you give it. And you also have to know what data is in the column. If you can't find a consistent pattern, then it's hard to use flash fill. Now here we're going to have to be careful. We want first and middle. So mojo. If I try Control E here, it almost gets it. So unlike the example above, it had no problem with just two. It took only the first. But I want that period there. So again, this is an example where we're going to have to give it two examples and pick our example. So Mojo, down here, I'm just going to choose to do Thomas, J, and the period. Now when I Control E, no problem. It does it. Perfectly. Now all of our examples so far have been text, but no way flash fill will work on dates which are serial number. Oftentimes you have a column of dates and you want year or day as a separate column. No problem. 2012, control E. The day, 24, enter, control E. The month, 7, enter, control E. That is absolutely amazing. Now this will work. Over here, these are dates where they don't show a lead zero. This works even if there's a lead zero. So down here, you can see there's a zero one. So day, control E. Just like that, it got the one. Month, seven, enter, control E. That is just amazing. Now well, let's go look at our next example. And this is a date example. Sometimes we get dates like this. It's some data dump from a database and it shows you year and then the month and then the day. So this should be 6, 10, 2000. If we try to do flash fill here, it's not going to work so well. And it has to do with those lead zeros. So in this cell, if I type 7 slash 14 slash 2001, control E. It's not guessing right. It's sevens all the way down. Even if we tried to do a lead zero, the problem is it's not pre-formatted. So if we come over here and pre-format the cells, control one. Now we haven't talked about custom number formatting uh, yet. That we'll talk about that next video. But I'm going to introduce it here. Custom in the type text box you highlight, and we want. MM, 2M shows a lead zero for month, slash DD, that'll show a lead zero for day, slash year, 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 year. Click OK. That custom number formatting, even if you type a 7 for month, it'll show up as 07. All right, so now let's try this. In fact, 07 slash 14 slash 2001, control E, it still is guessing wrong. So not only are we going to have to pre-format, but we're going to have to give it two examples. So I'm going to choose the example 07 and then 11. So now I'm going to do 11 slash 15 slash 2009. Now when I control E, it will flash fill those dates. Now that seems like a little bit of trouble. In our next video, we'll see formulas for doing these kinds of extractions and combining. And we'll see a great formula for this example. Here's phone numbers. They came in the wrong form. How about? So what we're doing here is we're inserting some characters and then a space. 587 and then inserting a dash and then 4545. Because this is consistent and we gave it an example that'll work all the way down, control E, that is amazing. How about student IDs? 880-71-2259. It's consistent data, control E, that is amazing. How about money, right? 9765 and I just want the pennies. 0.65, enter, control E. It gets exactly the decimal, everything after the period. How about the integer, 97, enter, control E. It gets it 
perfect. That's amazing. Now, here's what's even more amazing about Flash Fill. Look, if I click in this cell and I look up here, it's got general number formatting. If I type a dollar sign and then 97, it will extract the integer part, the dollar part, and apply currency. Enter Control E. And look at that. Just like that, it's got currency. So amazing, Flash Fill. When you have a one time deal, Flash Fill cannot be beat. All right, so hour and minute from time. Remember, time is a serial number. If we want to extract hour and minute, we got to be careful of those lead zeros. If I were to say hour one, enter control E, it's not going to get it right. Even if I 1 and then come down here 11 to try and get that hour control E, it's not picking it up. So instead, because I'm noticing a colon and I want everything before the colon, I'm going to give it only one example. The 1 1 says everything before the colon, control E, and that got it. For minute, if I did 12, control E, that's not going to work at all. But in this case, I can give it two examples, and then control E, and it gets it just right, including the 42 there and the 0 there. Last example down here, red, red. Well, obviously, if you gave it red, Enter control E. It would try and be polite and take the first one, but we need to very carefully if we want the last, say red, enter green, enter control E, and then it gets everything after the dash. So flash fill, as you can see, is amazing when it's a one time deal. You're extracting, combining, inserting, or reversing. You're using text date, time, or number data, Flash Fill is absolutely amazing. Now in our next video, we'll see how to do some of these examples with formulas, where formulas will always update when source data changes. All right, see you next video.